we're gonna try something out and I'm gonna vlog the process of me reading Network Effect by Martha Wells. This is book five in the Murder Book Diaries. I already picked a bookmark that matches the vibe. Not really, it's really just does it match the cover of the book. Um, I'm excited. Love Murderbot. And I don't know what's gonna happen. So, um, guess we can talk about the premise. So, um, book one follows Murderbot, which is an AI robot security consultant, I guess you could say, um, who's like hacked his self. <laughs> Doing great. Um, and so he's got like body autonomy and can control himself. And um, he ends up working for this group of humans and he has to like save them. And then each book is basically the same thing. He ends up with this group of humans and then he has to protect them from political organizations. Yeah. I don't know if anyone will ever see this. <laughs> so, um, up to chapter five. And I'm really enjoying it. I've already tabbed a bunch. Um, my favorite part of these books is Murderbot's, like, inner monologue and just being annoyed. And, like, this one, he's 100% an annoyed babysitter, just like the first one. I'm loving it. The little, like, quips and he's more comfortable with like a certain group of humans in this one so he's not as reserved I guess you could say in the way he speaks to them I'm excited I'm not that far in because this is like an actual book so it's 350 pages I think and I'm on 74 so a good start I'm excited okay I have showered and read another 30 pages so I'm about a third of the way in the plot is thickening <laughs> um I don't know what I can say without spoiling things there's definitely a character in it from one of the previous books and I don't know how I feel about them being in it um and we're being told information at the moment that we don't have any answers to because none of the characters know what is going on and Murderbot is stressed. So I'm stressed, but um, his comments are amazing, so I'm still loving it. And I'm excited for the rest of the book. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Not Murderbot related, but book depository thing. So let's... Yes! <laughs> I have read all three of the trilogy and the like companion short story collection thing. Um, and these covers are just superior to the US covers and so now I'm s I have one more left. The City of Brass came earlier this week. I love these so much.
So we just finished chapter nine. Absolutely loving it. Um, I can't say who it is because it's a bit of a spoiler, but the interaction between two characters. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, I'm running out of taps, so I'm going to have to get more of those. And, um, they're small, but I'm excited. I am almost halfway now. I haven't put it into Goodreads, so I don't know what the exact percentage is, but I am very much enjoying it, and I'm at a point where, up to this point, it's been kind of like one story arc. Um or like mission and now we are transitioning into a new mission this new mission um is going to be very interesting so each murderbot book is murderbot with a group of humans they get in a crappy situation he has to get them out of it so that's what happened up until this point like 160 pages I think in and um now that that is done we are planning out the next mission um yeah but like I absolutely this might be my favorite one just because of the interaction between these two characters and like I said earlier Murderbot is with a group of people that he was with in a previous book and I really like I really like the way Murderbot is when he's with these group of people because he trusts them so he's more himself um and he lets his quirky moments show through around these humans um, so it's just, it's really good and I really like it. And I think I might do, like, a spoilery thoughts with some quotes at the end. We'll see. But yeah. So, I don't know if I'll read more tonight, but tomorrow. We'll see if I can finish it. Mm. My goodness. Okay, so, 75% mark, 74, but I have tabbed the hell out of this book, not crazy crazy, but I'm absolutely loving it, and since I last updated you, those two characters that are interacting with each other that is fantastic, it's just getting better? And this is this is my favorite one. Like wholeheartedly, this this is my favorite one. And oh, I wish I could like spoilery thoughts, but just the interactions and the way the humans are responding to them, react. Okay, so let me try and consolidate my. So, when I last updated you, I had finished the first arc on the first half of this book. It was like one mission, and then once that one finished, we... It morphed into another mission. We're like halfway through that. It's getting intense, and my god... <laughs> The last tab that I just did right there, that little red one. The plot is sickening. And I now know what type of person it is that we're looking for, but I don't know why we're looking for them. Does that make sense? Okay, so to explain that a little bit further. <laughs> Um, there's different types, like, there's humans, and then there's augmented humans, and then there's, like, bots, and all robot. Anyways, 
So I know what category of person this is now. But now I'm confused because I know where they come from because the only type of person that we've interacted with that is like this only comes from this one group, okay? But they're not from the group that we're rooting for, if that makes sense. So I'm confused. I'm just confused. I'm really intrigued. And I only have like 90 pages left, so this, this will be tomorrow. I will finish this tomorrow. I am so excited. <laughs> I don't like it here. <laughs> uh, okay, so. I'm still reading. Um, things have happened. I don't know how I feel about um and we were just given some information that makes me very uncomfortable and I don't know how they're going to do this but I am um, I'm getting the vibe I understand where this next four book arc is going to go five I don't know it mm, I'm not like ugh. I don't know how to contain my thoughts <laughs> um okay slight spoilers because there's no way of talking about this circumstance without I'm not gonna mention who um I never thought that I would ship these two characters and I'm in love with their relationship and <laughs> or not relationship according to the one person and I love how the one got all nervous um like because it was gonna because they were gonna meet like the other ones Mom. <laughs> Mush. It's going to take me a little bit to like consolidate my thoughts and to not just gushing. Um, but the last 50 pages was very intense and normally the last little bit of the book 30 to 50 pages of these murder bot books or intense because it's the final conflict and but this one was a lot and there was a lot of feelings involved and there was a lot of overwhelmingness yeah on all parties readers me character all the characters certain characters one specific character I love this and I think this one is my favorite and I'm so excited for the next one and all of I'm going to try and give you my thoughts on this book. Overall, fantastic. Five stars. If I could give it six, if I can give it eleven. Fantastic. Oh my god. Okay. Um it's just <laughs> I would die for these characters okay maybe not that's drastic I've never had that thought with anyone so like no but like metaphorically I would die for these characters I'm like <sighs> the way things are going I think they would die for each other That last clip didn't even. You can't tell. I don't have the capacity to not have unhinged thoughts. So, you're gonna make this make sense for yourself. Um, little summary on the book. Like I've said a few times, the first half of the book 
is one problem that they need to fix. By fixing that, they now have this other problem, so then the last half of the book is that problem. The last 50 pages? <sighs> Stressful. Also, mind-meltingly cute. I... I am in love. I don't know how to end this, so I'm just gonna stop here because I have no good here thoughts left. But I will say, this is a perfect book to start out my unhinged vlog possible series. And thank you for letting me babble to you.